this corrected version of item 8 on your first exam we got a water tank that is supported on a truss system we have a wind pressure of 2 kilopascals that is 2,000 newtons per square meter that is blowing on the side of the water tank and even though that wind pressure would also be applied to the members you can tell by the relative size of these members compared to the broadside view of the tank that there's a lot more surface area associated with the tank itself than it is on the superstructure. So it's not unreasonable at all to really look at the wind force as only being on the water tank. This is a truss and so if it looks like a truss it tends to behave like one uh, but in this case we're told that all of the foundations and all of the joints are pin, meaning we just have pin connected members so the theoretical model is certainly that of a truss we've been asked to find one and only one member force and that can be very easily found by just simply summing moments about point B and when we do that uh, we'll, of course AX will go through B so we'll only be left with the AY component and we can find that and then because we know what the uh, angle of inclination of this member is it's got six meter rise on three quarter meter um, run and so we can go right on about that so let's get the total wind force We've got the wind pressure times this broadside area of the water tank which is four square meters times our two kilopascals to get eight kilonewtons of force we're um, certainly reasonable to conclude that that wind pressure is uniform over that area so given the symmetry of how that wind pressure is blowing on that thing that half would go to each one so we got four kilonewtons being applied up here on our single truss so we can again some moments about point B to find then our vertical reaction Right here, so that's two and a half meters for the moment arm, and then we've got the four times the two plus two plus one to get to the top of the or the centroid that is of where the wind pressure is at. That gives us a reaction of 11.2 kilonewtons acting down. There's an overturning effect, so the wind wants to pull the system or turn the system over. And then we go find AX. We can just use the relationship in the triangle there. We could have gone directly if we wanted to find the, the hypotenuse, but I chose just to simply find AX. It turns out to be 1.4 kilonewtons. That was where the mistake was in the first video. Uh, there was a one and a half used there. And then also uh, forgot to split the force between the two trusses. And then finally, of course, then you just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant of those two components which will be very close to 11.2 this is nearly a vertical member and so it turns out to be 11.28 and change rounded up to 11.3 kilonewtons and of course that wind is trying to pull that side out of the ground so that member is in tension and there you go that's your answer for number eight